Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to I don't know what episode it's going to be cuz this is a very special episode of Low Tide. So it is episode That's the episode it is. So I'm hoping maybe, maybe it's 65, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, that's uh, today's episode, and I'm your host. So, um, I got to keep this intro short. You know, I had um, taken this uh, Tuesday the 19th off, but I'm filming this. Filming this on the 18th? Is it the 18th? Any case, I'm filming this the night before. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be giving myself time off, but like I have a like a complex. Well, it's not complex. It's just long, and tedious, and arduous, and you know, it's the, it's like <laughs> I've I've built built myself up to doing something like this. So, um, any case. I'm filming it now to get it out of the way. And I don't know if it's supposed to be Friday's episode or Tuesday's episode or next Friday's episode, but I want to get it out of the way. So even though this is supposed to be a little miniature vacation, a uh, little miniature vacation, um, yeah, it's not. It's not. I'm just, I'm, I, I, otherwise I'd be having to do multiple episodes and this one would be piling up. So anyway. So welcome to Low Tide, the official program for Rude Planet, and I'm your host, speaking of Rude Planet, um, you know, I'm going to be adding additional content to the show, and like, I had like no idea what tonight's mon uh, monologue was going to be about, and I, initially I was going to talk about uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle. You know, she had, like, put that vagina candle on her website, Goop, uh, like, a couple years ago or whatever, and it made a big stink. And then, uh, you know, it sold out a lot of them, too. Did anybody actually use them? And I guess, like, there's, like, some woman in the UK that was u using the, uh, this candle smells like my, my vagina candle, and it exploded. <laughs> So, like, I was going to talk more in depth about it, but I thought, you know, it's already going to be old news by the time, 
this episode airs, so like, fuck it. I like one of the original concepts that I was going to do for the show. Anyway, I was going to do like a weekend show in addition to mystery boxes and other things. I was going to do celebrities saying and doing things. And, uh, you know, that would have been fine like four or five years ago. But like it's become like a complete and utter shit show now. It's like, you know. Every single celebrity out there has just become deep this out, man. <laughs> In any case, so like, I did a little bit of that on on Rude Planet, just you know, like highlighting you know certain articles that I thought was funny, and like the Gwyneth Paltrow thing would have been something I would have written about, but yeah, fuck it. I have a long episode to do, and I have a long episode to do, so like, I'm not going to do too much. In any case, um, I'm glad that you're here. If you weren't, uh, if you weren't uh, on that, seen my live stream yet that I did recently about the uh, uh, package I received from Europe, I suggest I I'd like I'd like for you to go and check it out um, because the, it was kind of a personal uh, a personal uh, package I got and. Um, you know, it's something I'm actually really proud of. So, um, if you can uh, check that out, that'd be great. Um, I got shipping notification that. Let's save that for the end. And so, anyway, um, why is this episode going to be so complex? This is part one of two. You know, if you've been if you've been collecting, you know, mystery boxes or opening up mystery mystery boxes or whatever, one of the standbys is the Spider-Man booth, and you got the the smaller V2 box that costs 30 bucks, and then you have the superior box, which costs 250. And the thing is, is that there's a little bit, and a little bit of, you know consternation about the superior boxes. I still like them, even though, you know, like. I haven't really quite got the money out. Well, the one box, uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. But anyway, um, I guess, you know, it's like I don't want to focus too much on the money side of things. That I just, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't, I, I try to stray around from that. But, you know, the, con the con question is, is are you getting the value for your money? And so, um, you know, that's something Stevie B does. You know, he wants to see a value of the money. So I'm going to do that tonight. You know, the superior box costs $250 for 10 books and, you know, a chance of winning some big stuff. The smaller V2 box is 30 bucks a piece. And if you buy more than one, you get free shipping. So 250 bucks for one superior box. $240 for $240 for, for eight for eight superior boxes. So let's just say like this is you know $240 the superior box is $250. Let's move this over to my workstation. And let's just see if this is worth it, okay? While I'm going to do it, let's take a goofy-ass part of the thumbnail. Because, uh, you know, that's what we do. It's like... <sighs> I die a little on each inside. Anyway, let's just... Let's just... These boxes are empty, by the way. I was gonna throw them, but uh, no, I, I. Okay, so like, let's just move this over to the workstation and uh, let's get started.
So, um, as you can see there, I got eight. That Spider-Man booth V2 boxes. Holy shit. So, here's the plan. The plan is, I'm going to open them. I'm going to see what's there. Yeah, it seems like, it, you know, it's like I decided, well, I'll just go ahead and take care of the, uh, take advantage of the setup I have in here to <laughs> film this segment so we can get into the nuts and bolts. Um, Stevie, I'm not going to ride your coattails here, but I'm going to call this the, we're going to enter the eBay octagon. How's that? So, um, I've been opening up the superior boxes and they're $250 boxes. And, um, I can't say that disappointment is not the right word, but like the boxes, you know, like I've seen what the older boxes were and they had, you know, like this, you know, a little bit of excitement to them because you had no idea what was going to be on them, but like they've turned into, um, basically, uh, basically, you know, like unknown comics, unknown comics and street level hero exclusives. That just seems to be the only thing that's in them. And I don't really want to complain too much because like, you know, I got an incredible prize out of them. So like, you know, I know that you can get really good stuff out. In fact, you know, like this workstation that like I'm working on out here is paid for by, you know, like uh, a superior box. So I'm not, I don't want to get, I don't want to be like other channels and give, you know, like uh, JPG McFly or anybody like that a hard time. But like what I really want to do is, you know, like the current state of them, I believe, is just want to, you know, compare. Because what I have here, I have right here, eight, um, let's see if I can get it in the frame. Get eight. That eight. Uh, that eight. Uh, <laughs> that spider-man booth v2 boxes and eight you know eight boxes you know the 30 dollars a box so this comes out to you know like 240 dollars a superior box is 250 so what i'm going to do this is episode one of two i'm going to go through these one by one and we're going to look at the retail value that's in the that is declared in the box and then we're going to you know see what they're selling for on ebay see like you know what you know what's worth it here and um, I'm going to be creating three stacks. I'm going to be creating a stack of whatever the marked variants are, a stack of um, a stack of the filler books, and then also a stack of things I want to keep. That's the problem I've had with superior boxes that, by and large, I've not really got anything out of them that I want to keep. I'm not somebody that really finds... Uh, finds variants to have inherent value um you know oftentimes they're just covered like you know it's like if you're going to open up a 250 dollar box you know you want you know it to you want it to be something that you can't get anywhere else and then you know it's like they do sales where you could buy like three and get three you know free type sales and things like that so like yeah I got something big out of a superior box, but every single one I've got, every single other one I've gotten has, uh, has been, um, stuff that, you know, I could, you know, uh, I get elsewhere or possibly out of these. So that is why, you know, that's the reason why I'm going to do this. Now I'm not, as I said, I'm not here to give, um, to give, uh, that Spider-Man booth street level hero or JPG McFly a hard time. I just want to assess the value and I have a, I do have a superior box on the way. I do not know um, what's in it. It might have something big, but when I do the second video, even if I have something big, there's still, you know, like there's still, you know, 10 books in it. And so like, I'm going to use that as a baseline. So we're going to go head to head right here. And uh, man, I'm going to film, you know, I was supposed to take a day off, you know, it's like, um, I had announced the other day I was going to take, you know, most of this week off. But, like, I'm getting this out of the way. I have no idea when it's filming. So nice little vacation you're giving yourself, Matt. 
But um, that's neither here nor there. So, like, let's get these out of the way. And, uh, yeah, as, as I said, I got no cards here. And we're going to go through it one by one. And I'm going to edit this down. I'm going to try to be clever with it because, you know, like, that's what I do. <laughs> but I have no idea. So, like, I got my note cards. Brand new. So we're just going to go through these box by box. And then uh, I got this out of the Skybound box. So, like, I don't watch Walking Dead. I don't really care too much for the character Negan either. But, like, I got a little Lucille ballpoint then. So, like, let's just, let's just nerd out, right? So I got, I got that right here. So, man, my allergies, my allergies just ramped up there. So like, let's just double check this. This these sell on eBay for like ten dollars. Works. It works. So, man. Matt, are you really going to do this tonight? I mean, like, seriously, are you going to do this tonight? Might as well. So, box number one. I'm going to take the glasses off. If I'm going to be here for, for who knows how long, I'm just going to take them off. So, uh, so right off the bat, right off the bat, I know there's going to be something I'm going to keep. Stevie. And. Leading cool number zero. So it's like it's like a well, it's got a value on it. It's from 2012. Bleeding cool number zero. The valiant returns. What shot? That is going into my valiant collection. So burr, 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 burr. so that's in the keep pile. So that's a good start. We got Power Rangers <laughs> number 25. Reason why I'm laughing is because it's got a torpedo sticker on it. The torpedo says it's worth $15. So, like, uh, how, how am I going to classify that? I mean, like, obviously, this is, you know, this is a that Spider Man booth box, but I got a torpedo comic in it. Okay, so let's just. Uh, since it has a value tag on it, I'm going to put that into for the octagon. And then uh, image, parade with fireworks, number issue one of two. Um, I have no clue what that is. So that will go into the filler pile. Okay, so right here off the bat we have uh, – why would they have a torpedo box? Do they have like the same distributors or like the same? I mean, like, of course, you know, like they got diamond or whatever, but like, what, like, are they being sourced by the same people? So, anyway, this is Venom something something. Um, it says we're $20. I think this is like a second print or something. Um, but uh, we'll go through it and find out. So it says it's worth 20 bucks. And then, uh, I just sold this. I just sold one of these. In fact, I just sold it two days ago. Um, this is uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal something something, the Wonder Woman Virgin variant. It says it's worth thirty, but I sold mine for fifteen. I had it up for you know several weeks, and uh, somebody made me an offer. So should I put this at fifteen? We'll we'll take a look. So. That is box number one. Uh, 
I'm just gonna use this box over there. Sort the shit out. So, one thing I can say is just out of one V2 box, I found a book that I want to keep. Even if it is, you know, just a cheapy, bleeding cool box. So, anyway. So, the uncanny in humans. Number zero. So, filler. Okay, so we have Dark Knight's Death Metal number six. Yeah, I'm not, I kind of lost my yeah again. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have Death Metal number six. Says it's worth ten dollars. And then, uh, I actually like this cover, but I'm not going to keep it. So it's a filler book. And we have Spider Woman number five. It's going to have that red border, you know, it's like from a few years ago. Whatever. And then we got uh, Venom number 27. It says it's worth 20 bucks. Who knows? Then we got some X Men bullshit. Says it's worth forty bucks. So let's I need a better system than this. I need a better system than this. Hold on. Hold on. Men. Nothing takes it off like Noxima medicated shave. Take it off. Take it all off. Nothing takes it off like Noxima medicated shade. How closer you shave, the more you need Noxima. Noxima medicated comfort shave. Whoa. Box number three. All Star Western number eleven. It looks interesting. It's got you know like. The tie into the court of owls. I'm debating about whether I want it in the filler pile or the keeper pile. I'll put it in the keeper pile for now. Because I do like that. It's got Jonah Hex on it and all that. But we have uh, cable number five. It says it's worth 15 bucks. Um, Captain Marvel number 24, filler book. Not going to keep that. <laughs> I don't want this. <laughs> Batman, Catwoman, no. See, this is what I'm saying. You get, if you if you have overhyped books, don't pay for them. You get, if you're buying mystery boxes, you'll get them. So I got like the Tom King's. Batman, Catwoman, number one. So, so this is worth 20 bucks. 
And then I think I have the trade dress of this. I think it's Hellions or some mutant bullshit. It says it's worth 30. So. Sixteen minutes left. It's gonna take me all night. This is gonna take me all night. Okay, so something off the top I can see I'm going to keep for myself. We have the new defenders number one thirty five. So that is going in my stack. And we have some more mutant bullshit. We got Excalibur number 13. So this is worth 10. Okay, so like that, yeah, I've been getting some Iron Man lately. So we got Iron Man number 155. So that is definitely going into my keeper stack. So... Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this was an overhyped book. I do like the cover, though. Actually, you know, I actually did like this cover, and I figured I'd get one of these along the way. Um, I'm not going to keep it. That's Harley Quinn number 75. So this is worth 20. I bought the Illuminati box uh, a couple months ago, and it had uh, it had uh, books that were supposed to be completely exclusive to the Illuminati box. So, like, there were only like five hundred of each book. I think the one that was in the Illuminati box was the trade dress of this. So, the trade dress has less. Uh, uh, is that right? It has less printing than this? It's like Wolverine. This is like Wolverine number four or five or some shit. So um it says it's worth 40, man. See, so, yeah, I know these sites, you know, they, they do retail because like they they go out, they spend thousands of dollars on getting variants made up. They gotta buy, you gotta pay the artist, you gotta buy at least how many copies? 3,000? You know, it's like, so you're looking at, you know, upwards of ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to get a variant done. Why are you doing variants for filler issues? So I can understand why they would put, like, you know, when they would put, you know, retail of, like, $40 on a variant. But, like, you got to factor in supply and demand. So there's no demand for the book in the first place, or you know, it's like it's only like going to be in demand for completionists. Nobody's going to pay forty dollars for that. Maybe a couple people did, but like nobody's. They're either going to wait for sale or buy it on eBay. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll check. So. Oh, the bag's undone on one of these. So this is box number five. Box number five. So uh, we have Red Sonia number one. It says it's worth $15. Web of Venom Empire. This cover is great, though. I'll read it first, but we got Empire's End. Amazon. $15. And then we have Amazing Spider-Man, number 49, really legacy, number 850. It says it's worth $18. At least this one has a lot of exclusives in it. So, like, if you were buying, if you got this box up by, it, by itself, then yeah, it's worth its money. But like, 
Here's Wonder Woman number 750. It says it's worth 25. This is the Jim Lee variant, and I'm pretty sure it's the Torpedoes comic variant, one of them. And I know it retails for 25, but you can't even get $10 for it. So I can give you that much information. Like, And then we got some mutant bullshit. Says it's worth 25. Now, this box is all exclusive. So, like, if somebody got this box by itself for 30 bucks, you'd at least double your money out of that. So, like, that I do know is worth money. That's five. So. No filler in that one. Well, we got a keeper. We got a keeper. So, the Mighty Avengers number 243 is definitely going into my collection. So, that goes into my stack to keep. And then we got Marauder something something. So, this is worth time. Uh, they live among us. Beware, clan, the clandestine number nine. Filler. Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one. The most copied cover in existence. It's annoying as shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one. Says it's worth 20. In doubt. And then we got another amazing Spider Man number 49. It says it's worth 40. In doubt. But we'll see. So. So we got one. This says box number six. Almost there. We're in box number seven. So we have Wildcast number 14. I don't need it. As filler. And we have hex pen number 12. Says it's worth 15. Um, yeah. Now we got Uncanny X Men. I'm going to work on my. Uh, I'm going to work on my uh, mutant collection. So we got Uncanny X Men number 279. That is going into the keeper pile. And then we got this Thor issue. And I forget which Thor this is, but it's the second print. I, I want it, so it's going in my keeper pile. No, it's not. <laughs> and then uh, this bag got roached. And then we got uh, Detective Comics number 1027. Black and white cover. The Anacleto cover. Says it's worth 30. Okay, one more box. Queso Comics Primer. <laughs> Look at this nine, 90s looking bullshit. I'm going to put that in my keeper pile just so I can read it. Um, 
So yeah, okay. X Force number eighteen. This is that new Wolverine villain. What's his name? Slalom. So uh, that may be worth worth something. I don't know. But um, if it's a first appearance, I'll put it in the spec box. So we'll, we'll figure that out. So Web of Spider-Man. I'm building a little bit of a Web of Spider-Man collection. We got um, Web of Spider-Man number 46. So that is going into my keep file. And then we have... Uh, Detective Comics number 1027. Another variant says it's worth 20. And then we got a Thor issue here. I'm not sure which one. That silver surfer on it. And it says it's worth 30. So that is box number eight. So let's start taking some statistics here. I bought eight boxes. <clears throat> the key, uh, all the keeps turned out to be filler, so I'm just going to count all this together as filler. We're going to find out how many we got here. So we got one, two, three, six. Fourteen books filler. Of that filler, one, two, three. Eight books I'm going to keep. So I'm averaging one book a box. Okay. <clears throat> so that means 26 exclusive variants. So are we about to enter the... About to enter the... Uh, uh, eBay Octagon MMB. Buy it now, buy it now. Let's look at that sold. Basically twenty to thirty dollars. got some results for you and uh, it's actually kind of surprising so let's just let's just go through them. let's just go through them. so I got I don't even have them in order Matt fuck the hell off okay I think that's it god damn it okay box number one the retail cost on that box was 
$65 on eBay on the low end of things it would have been worth $28 on the high end of things $25 now there's a, a there's a caveat to that because the one that was you know sell, that sold for 20 there's been a couple that sold for 20 but you have to go all the way back to November for that so the uh, so between 28 and 55 potentially um, box number two the retail of the books in that box was $70 and I'm not counting the filler books, you know, the, the filler books, we'll talk about in a minute, but anyway, so the retail of box number two was 70. The eBay sales was uh, at the low end, $39, on the high end, $86. Um, so, okay, so box number three. The retail on box number three was $65. And uh, on the low end was $18. On the high end, $48, give or take. Now, the caveat to that one, one of them was the blank uh, Batman Catwoman book. And there was one copy of that that sold back in November for $20. And I'm not seeing any other for sale. so. I'm gonna call that a $5 book. I'd list it for higher, but take offers. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm counting that $20 at 48. So like 18 to 25 is more realistic, but possibly higher. Then box number four, the retail of that is 70. Um, eBay, the low end of the eBay was, uh, uh, $23. The high end would be $48. Um, there was the Excalibur number 13, the Anacleto. Um, it sells between $3 and $8. But, you know, like it did sell as high as $15 back in November. So, um, keep that in mind. Anyway, box number five. The, uh, Retail of box number five, and that's the one that had five retail variants in it. The retail value of that was ninety-eight dollars. Um, the low end of that was forty-eight dollars, and the high end on e the low end on eBay was forty-eight dollars, and the high end of ninety-three. So that one would have paid off pretty well. That one would have paid off pretty well. Um, Box number six, retail value of 70. Um, the low end for sales on eBay on that box would be 38, and the high end would be 73. And these are these are realistic numbers. Some of those you know are recent, some of them are older, but they're kind of re realistic based off of what I've seen on eBay. Uh, box number number seven. You had uh, retail of $65, and uh, the low end on eBay would have been $33, and the high end $62. I don't have any notes on that. And then box number eight, the retail value of that box was $60, and the contents of that box, rather. And the uh, low end, um, and the low end was $35, the high end was $70. So there's, there's, I would say, you know, for the most part, the value, because like I, I tallied it all up. If you were to count the retail value on everything in those boxes of all the variants, the retail would have been 563 eBay sales, um, the uh, eBay sales on the low end would have been a total of $262 and a high end of $535. So now a lot of those higher prices are, you know, from like 
or like a few months back so like some of those you're not going to get that kind of value out of what i will tell you is this though is that you know like on average i would say based off of these eight boxes i bought getting 300 to 350 dollars is not unrealistic might even get higher if you're willing to fish a little bit longer um but yeah so notable books i've got like five books in there i got like eight books out there that i'm going to keep that are from the filler i like the filler books you know more than i like the uh than i like the variants so like i did manage to get some stuff i'm going to keep out of that and then uh yeah so i have a notable yeah x-force x-force number 13 um some people call it the first appearance of solemn um it says a retail of 10. i have not seen really any sales higher than eight some lower than that um this is the kind of thing i'm going to toss in my spec box and just you know play along on it and and, and see where it goes um yeah and as i mentioned the uh batman catwoman the retail on that it says 20. there was a sale for 20 back in november like november 30th or something like that but no sales since and I, on any price so take that for as you want the big surprise was dark knight's death metal number six it says the retail here is ten dollars but like i think like this was selling for it was selling for yeah so the retail on that is ten dollars but it's been selling for between 16 and 25 so this one actually is worth more than the sticker price so um yeah anyway off to a good start so um yeah i'm gonna be i don't know when the superior box is coming I'm going to try to hold off on releasing this episode until it's closer to getting here. I don't know when that'll be. Um, but in any case, the Superior Box follow-up will happen whenever that arrives. Um, one more thing. What the fuck, man? And I know there was something else I was going to say, and I can't say, think of what it is, but fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Keep your stick on the ice, and I will see you whatever the next episode is.